Hello, truth seekers, and welcome back to our channel, where we unveil the shocking truth behind the glamorous world of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. Ladies and gentlemen, grab your popcorn and buckle up, because look who's in the hot seat again. Good old Prince Harry and his ever-so-charming wife, Meghan. Can you believe the latest drama unfolding in the royal family? It's like a never-ending soap opera, I tell ya. Just when you thought these two couldn't sink any lower, they go and pull another stunt that's got the whole world talking. This time it's Princess Anne, the Queen's only daughter, who's had enough of their antics and has finally kicked Harry out of his role as a counselor of state. Can you say, ouch? But before we delve into the tumultuous waters of this revelation, if you haven't already, do me a favor and hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications. You won't want to miss the explosive content we have in store. So now I know what you're all thinking, what the heck is a counselor of state and why should we care? Well, let me break it down for you. The counselors of state are a group of senior royals who are appointed to represent the queen when she's not able to perform her duties. It's a pretty prestigious position and up until now, Harry's been one of them. But not anymore, folks. Princess Anne has apparently decided that she's had enough of Harry's backstabbing ways and has booted him out of the role. And to add insult to injury, she's also denied his request to get Frogmore Cottage back. Ouch, indeed. Now, I know what you're all thinking. What did Harry do to deserve this kind of treatment? Well, let me tell you. It's not exactly a secret. Harry and Meghan have been nothing but trouble since the moment they stepped onto the royal stage. First, there was the whole Megxit fiasco, where these two decided to just up and leave the royal family, citing the toxic environment and the lack of support they were receiving. But let's be real, we all know the reason they left. They were hungry for the spotlight, and they wanted to do their own thing no matter the cost. And then of course, there was that infamous Oprah interview, where Meghan and Harry spilled all the royal tea and painted themselves as the victims. It was like a bad episode of The Real Housewives of Buckingham Palace, I tell ya. But the thing that really seems to have rubbed Princess Anne the wrong way is Harry's constant public statements about his apparent lack of loyalty to the family. I mean, come on, dude. You can't just ditch the royals and then expect them to welcome you back with open arms. That's not how it works. And let's not forget about the whole Frogmore Cottage debacle. That was supposed to be Harry and Meghan's little getaway, a place where they could escape the prying eyes of the public. But now it seems like they can't even hang on to that. I mean, seriously, you two? You had a freaking royal wedding. You got to live in a palace and you were even given a cushy little cottage to call your own. But it's just never enough, is it? You've got to keep pushing the boundaries, testing the family's patience, and making a mockery of the whole situation. Well, I've got news for you, Harry and Meghan. The party's over, Princess Anne has had enough, and she's not the only one. I bet there are plenty of other royals out there who are just waiting for the chance to put you two in your place. And you know what the best part is? The fact that you can't even seem to get your own way anymore. I mean, seriously, Harry, you think you can just waltz back into Frogmore Cottage like nothing happened? Dream on, buddy. It's like the old saying goes, you can't have your cake and eat it too. And that's exactly what these two have been trying to do. They want to reap all the benefits of being royal without any of the responsibilities or the scrutiny. Well, I've got news for you, Harry and Meghan. The royal family isn't your personal playground, and if you think you can just keep pushing the boundaries and expect to get away with it, you've got another thing coming. So what's the moral of the story here, folks? Don't mess with the royals, and don't ever think you can just walk all over them. Princess Anne has shown us all that there is still some fight left in the old guard, and she's not afraid to put these two in their place. And who knows, maybe this is just the beginning. Maybe there are more surprises in store for Harry and Meghan. After all, they've been causing quite a stir in the royal family for a while now, and I bet there are plenty of other royals out there who are just waiting for the chance to take them down a peg or two. So keep your eyes peeled, folks, because the drama in the royal family is far from over, and you can bet that I'll be here, ready to dish out the juicy details and the scathing commentary. Because let's face it, when it comes to the royals, there's always something new and scandalous to talk about. So what do you think about this, guys? Sound off in the comments and let me know what you think. Until then, stay tuned for more shocking stories and scandalous exposés on our YouTube channel. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to stay updated on the latest from the world of the royal family. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again with some more fascinating news about the royal family. Bye for now!